How are we doing today, everybody? I am back with a team talk for you. And the only thing good I got to talk about today is my new hat. That's the only thing I got good to talk about because what I got in front of me is my top 10 list, because you guys asked for it, top 10 lists again, my top 10 lists on worst passports ever created. I'm gonna say some of these names and some of you are gonna go, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, no, these are real boats, people. Real boats that I found were junk, I've worked on, any of that stuff. What I've seen, what we got. Are you ready? Here they come. Top 10 worst bass boats. <laughs> Garbage, here we go. You ready? All right, coming in at number 10. One of my all time favorite, one of my workers, one of my employees loves these boats so much because he had to put his rain gear on on an 80 degree day. No rain, but he had it on. You know what it is? It's a pro craft bass boat. I don't give a crap if it's a 17 footer or a 21 footer. They are all junk. I hate them. I don't like them. They don't ride nice. You get wet. You, you, it's bad. It's all bad. Nothing good. Pro craft, nothing. Number nine. Are you ready for this? How many of you have ever seen a Skeeter bass boat and went, man, that thing's cool? I did, like recently. But the Skeeter Wrangler? Like the jeans, like, you know what I mean? Like my Wrangler jeans, that type of stuff. The Skeeter Wrangler, have you ever seen one? Go look at it, you're gonna go womp, womp, womp. Junk, should've never been made. They should've, they should've sprayed it with off. Get rid of the Skeeter, if you know what I mean. There's a Skeeter on my Peter, get it off. I mean, that bad stuff. The Skeeter Wrangler was junk. <laughs> Garbage, should've never been created. Brown, why are you making brown bass boats? There should be no brown in bass boats. There should be no brown, no OD green, all dark garbage looking colors. Even then you get teal blue. No, don't do it. Skeeter Wrangler, <laughs> number nine, junk. Number eight, coming in with the Raging Cajun. Everybody loved that Raging Cajun for about 10 months and it went to hell. Actually, they were around for a while. I hate the Cajun. I saw like six of them up here in Wisconsin. Back to the brown colors with the Cajun label on the side. The deck was garbage. It was garbage. The only thing good about it, I think, was maybe the steering wheel. I could take a steering wheel off of a Cajun and say I got something cool. Nothing else I liked about the Cajun. I, they just, they weren't around long enough. There's a reason for it. I hated them. You, somebody, if somebody's got a Cajun, say, hey, I got one, I like it. I'd love to hear about it. I never saw one I like. Junk. All right, number seven. Are you ready for this? Chrysler built a bass boat. Chrysler built a bass boat. Couldn't build good outboards, so let's build a bass boat. Let's go high performance. You can't do it if your power doesn't work with it. Chrysler bass boats, gone. Garbage, blue bin, recycle. Make something productive out of it. Make a damn wooden chair out of it. I don't care, it's not good. Chrysler, gone, that's number seven. Number six, are you ready for this one? If there's anybody out there that has actually ridden in one of these, I've never ridden in one. A lot of pictures on them. I did do service on one when I first started about 20 some years ago. It's the Glass Sport Bass Scalper. <laughs> Don't make me, I'm gonna say it again. Glass Sport Bass Scalper. <laughs> scalper. Who the hell came up with that? Let's put a scalper underneath it. Yeah, let's do that. Junk. Why in the hell would you do this? Why did you build a boat that's called a glass sport bass scalper? No. Go look at them. You'll be like, dude, how did they make number six? I just because I was giving them a little bit because they made a run at it. Not the deal. Number five, quantum boats. That's all I got to say. Garbage. Don't even, I'm not even going in depth with it. As we go up here, you're gonna get less out of me, I think, because we're getting really bad here. Quantum, holy bad. When you got carpeting that looks like it came out of frickin' Johnny Menard's facility over here, like the cheap f***ing decking carp, no, just move on. Quantum junk. Number four, the mighty glass stream. So when they're building this glass stream boat, it's two guys hanging out like, yo, what's up, man? Let's build ourselves a boat. All right, that's cool. Let's do, what are we gonna call it though? I don't know. Hmm. And they're looking down through the valley. Hey, man. There's, look at the glass on that stream over there. And the other guy's like, yeah, let's call it glass stream. What the, what, 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 what? Why? Junk. The boat's junk. Everything about it's junk. 
The compartments on them were junk. They rolled like piss. It was horrible, 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 horrible. I've seen one in my life, one, one. And the rest have all been pictures. I didn't need to see any more. All right, here we go. Are you ready for this one? Number one, or number three? Number three, winner. Do you hear the crowd behind me? Yeah, winner. No, not that kind of winner. Winner bass boats. You are not a winner in a winter bass boat. You, I couldn't make it from here. If I, if I put that thing in a Clinton Street over here, which you've seen me do some runs, I couldn't make it to the beach without it breaking. Like the boat breaking, physically <laughs> breaking, falling apart. Oh, oh, you need the steering wheel? Here it is. Oh, shit. I just lift up my live well lid and I got it in my hands. Oh, this is really good. Why is the bolt leak? Oh, I must have forgot the plug. No, the hull's cracked. You weren't a winner and a winner. Garbage. Number two, Tidecraft. Tidecraft. <laughs> All right, here's my story with Tidecraft. So, customer about 20 years ago has got a Tidecraft, brings it in. New steering, perfect. All right, so I'm going to take the steering out, take it out, boom, bolts come out, take the helm out, get the cable down, Pull it all out. <clears throat> As I pull the helm out, the whole inner dash comes with it. It all falls down on top of me. So basically I got this, this thick of fiberglass left, this thick right here of fiberglass left. That's all I got. And I got to rebuild this whole back of this dash. So I called the guy, I'm like, I didn't call him at the time, the owner did. He's like, hey, your dash fell apart. The guy's like, ah, oh, how do you think that happened? What? What do you mean, how do you think that happened? It's junk. It, it, it just fell apart. It's like they didn't use any material to glue A to B. They cut a piece of plywood. Yeah, let's go over and get some wood goop. <laughs> Whack, put it on. No, no. And that was one of my stories with uh, the old Tidecraft. The same boat that I worked on under the council, got it all fixed up, got everything put together. By the time I was done, I, I had leaned on the front portion of it because I was inside there. I had leaned on the front portion of the boat so bad that the carpet, I wore it completely off. Now this is where there's no sun, granted it was older, but there's no sun, no baking, nothing, and I wore it right through because they carpeted this piece that went up right there. It was, they're junk. They're completely junk. I would never, ever, ever own anything that says Tidecraft. You, it, when the tide goes out, you leave it on the bank. That's what you do, okay? The tide craft's floating, tide goes away, it goes on the bank. You take it and you put it in the garbage. That's what you do. Chop it, cut it, burn it, I don't care. Have a bonfire, do whatever you need to do. Tidecraft, gone. Number one, worst bass boat ever built to the day, Bayliner Bass Trophy. Bayliner. Bayliner couldn't build a boat to begin with, and then they thought they could build performance, and then they thought they could be really cool and power it with a force. Why are you powering anything with a force and thinking you're gonna have performance? Bass boat, performance, Bayliner, none of it goes together. Zero, all of it, garbage. Don't like it, hate it, seats, junk, driving ability, horrible, ride, 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 no, no. Rode in one tournament, BFL, got to riding it, going down the creek, everything's good, it was cool. I'm like, oh, this isn't a bad ride. And then he went to get in it and trimmed it up. I was like 18, 19 years old. I literally shouldn't have problems taking a piss at 18 or 19. We get to the first spot, I'm standing there like, Ugh, why can't I pee? Jumping up and down, trying to wake it up, you know, slap yourself in the butt a little bit, trying to get myself motivated to go to the bathroom, doesn't work because the ride was so terrible. My spine was horrible. My tailbone felt like it was pointing through the back of my head. I have terrible experiences with it. Front deck was small, back deck, it was like I was standing on a freaking pothole gravel road. Stability was horrible, ride was horrible. Whole shot I couldn't do, it said Bayliner on it. Nope, not gonna do it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Anything that says Bayliner. I got another experience with a Bayliner boat. <clears throat> I think it was like a pre-classic. Uh, when the windshields, you'd ride down the river and you'd, you'd hit the waves and they go boom, boom. Somebody right now is going, I know exactly what he's doing. Ba-doom, ba-doom. Then you get back and you literally can't walk between the windshields because the freaking boat broke in half and it's sitting like this now, steering wheel's now like this. So you're going down the river and it's like boom, doo, 
Right, it's just junk. Junk, junk, junk. Anything Bayliner made and then you power it with a force, that's all bad. That is all bad. Terrible, terrible, terrible. No more. Bin. Fire. Beer. Marshmallow. The marshmallow would probably be bad if you had a fire with a Bayliner. Probably turn out like shit. Anyway, done. That's it. That is my top 10 worst bass boats ever created. I couldn't even, hey, I couldn't even get a javelin in here. I couldn't get a nitro in here. Hey, you guys might be happy now. I didn't have to pick on those guys, but there's been so much junk built over the years that we found 10 that I hated. Oh, well, going to give them to you again. Ready? Quick one. Number 10, Procraft. Might as well get your rain jacket on. You're gonna get wet. Doesn't matter if it's 90 and sunny. Number nine, Skeeter Wrangler. You don't have anything that has Wrangler on it and Skeeter because you're not wrangling anything. Cajun bass boats, <clears throat> good boat for a couple days, then they went to uh, Chrysler bass boats, can't build a motor. Why the hell are you building a boat? Junk. Uh, glass sport scalper, not even gonna talk about it. If you got a goddamn name that's that long and ends in scalper, no, that's, that's horrible. Number five, quantum. I didn't even get into it when we were talking about it, so they're garbage. Glass stream, you don't put stream on anything that has to do with bass fishing, no streams. There's no stream. I don't care if it's that stream. I don't think if you think you're streamlined, you're not. You're junk. You didn't make it. You're gone. Winner, never a winner. Last place when you had the winner boat. Tidecraft, garbage, fall apart, piece of crap. Number one, one and only, Bayliner. And this is Bayliner, power with a force. Throw it in the damn garbage. Don't even start a fire because your marshmallows aren't going to be good. Hey, how do you like me now? Top 10 bass boats that were the worst ever built. I just gave them to you. I hope everybody has a great day because this giant list and my new hat and my Suzuki outfit are going home. Like always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I call speed, money, and no breaks. Hey, don't forget, these are gonna be on the website soon. You want one, get one. Peace out!